Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionaris, where medicine makes perfect sense. What is cracking racking? Today we have a brand new course. Can you guess what it's about? And as always, we have free goodies. So I have about a thousand videos on YouTube for free. And then I have some premium courses on my website. Today, we're adding 15 more. Drum roll, please. Surgery high yields. Yes, indeed, it's happening. If you are about one month to three weeks before your surgery exam and you feel absolutely lost, this course is for you. We'll talk about an introduction. I'll teach you the difference between crystalloids, colloids, isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic intravenous fluid, the Glasgow Coma Scale, metabolic acidosis versus metabolic alkalosis. I'll give you lots of study tips. This course is jam-packed with algorithms, comparison tables, mnemonic, diagrams, you name it. You see this? This is ischemic Volkmann contracture, which is a complication of compartment syndrome of the limb. A good conscientious doctor should never let this happen. And this patient is having facial plethora because of superior vena cava syndrome because he has lung cancer at the apex. What do you call this? Pancos tumor. It can also lead to swelling of the right upper extremity because it cannot drain its vein. And upper extremity muscle weakness. Why? Because I'm tampering with my brachial plexus. This lung cancer can metastasize to the right supraclavicular node known as right Fercos node. High yields, baby. And the notes are just so good. With every disease, we go like this. History, physical exam, how you diagnose it, how you treat. Here's the patient's complaint. For example, here is a vascular ring constricting the trachea and esophagus. So I'm using the purple color for trachea and the green color for esophagus. Let's go. If the ring is compressing your trachea, what do you get? Dyspnea. If it's compressing your esophagus, you get dysphagia. On physical exam, I can hear a strider and I can see you vomiting or regurgitating or drooling. How do I diagnose this? Well, let me look into your esophagus and into your trachea, barium swallow or upper GI series and bronchoscopy. And of course, the management is surgical correction. You divide the smaller of the two aortic arches. We keep it simple. We keep it organized. In this course, you will learn about all of these topics, focusing on the most high yield pieces of information. At the end of the course, there are 20 vignettes with answers and 100 questions and answers in a new segment known as Medicosis Couch Potato, where you're supposed to lie on the couch and just listen to me and try to guess. What's the condition? How can I diagnose it? How can I treat it? Let me give you a sample. Question 1. We have a patient who comes in with vomiting and headache. Describe the vomiting. The vomiting is projectile more in the morning. How about the headache? The headache is frontal and also worse in the morning and it's worse when I lean forwards. If the patient is a child, you can see hydrocephalus. If the patient is an adult, they will complain of, doctor, I cannot go downstairs or upstairs for that matter. On physical exam, the patient was only able to look medially and laterally. What's the condition? Perinod syndrome, usually caused by a penialoma. How can I diagnose it? MRI of the brain. What's the treatment? Surgical and medical. Surgically remove the tumor, medically lower the intracranial pressure. Here is another one. Let's try this. Doc, every time I exercise my right arm vigorously, I feel tingling, coldness and muscle pain in the right arm. Plus, I get double vision, dizziness, I lose my balance and even my consciousness just by exercising. What is that? This is subclavian steel syndrome. His right arm, when exercised, steals blood from the posterior circulation of the brain via the vertebral artery. The blood is having some backflow action. Instead of going from subclavian to vertebral to the brain, it is going from brain to vertebral to subclavian to supply his right arm. Why is this? Because the patient has stenosis of the subclavian. How can you diagnose this patient? The answer is clinically plus duplex ultrasound of the vertebral arteries to see the backflow 
in the opposite direction. The most accurate test will be angiography, including CT angiography or MR angiography. The management of any vessel stenosis is revascularization with the A or the B. A. Angioplasty with stent. What's the B? Bypass surgery. Bypass that narrow subclavian artery. And that's how we do it. I just gave you two samples. But if you download it today, you get access to all of these goodies. And you master surgery from your couch. This course comes with a humongous PDF made of 180 pages of pure high yield surgery notes. If I were you, I will print those 180 pages, use them while watching the lectures, annotate them, highlight them, and I will keep them for me forever. This is gold right here. The course has 15 lectures. You can watch the first one for free on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. Just go to medicosisperfectionalis.com, click on download on that top right hand, then click on surgery high yields, scroll down, you will watch the free video. This course comes with 15 videos, 15 PDF notes, handwritten of course, like these, 100 questions and answers, medicosis couch potato, plus 20 vignettes with answers, and my Perfect Snails Ultimate Notebook. The duration of the lectures is about 12 hours. The size of this folder is a whopping 23 gigabytes. But hey, Medicosis, I don't have that enough storage. Do not worry, my friend, because when you purchase the course, you get some links. And when you go to those links, you can just stream the videos online. You can even do this at double speed. You do not have to download it. And because I adore students who study in July because they are freaking unicorns, here is a 70% discount towards any course on my website. Just use discount code FISTULA to poke a hole in that price. But be very careful because an arteriovenous fistula can cause a hyperdynamic circulation or high output cardiac failure and drop your blood pressure. And now to the free stuff. A video about CO2 narcosis is free. Another video about the Haldane effect and the Bohr effect is free. 50 cases about bleeding and coagulation disorders, free. And because you guys liked my GI video, there is a free PDF called Digestion from A to Z. It's very good for biology and physiology and biochemistry too. And wait, what's that? My entire autonomic pharmacology course is free for the first five students who use discount code fight flight in one word. Just go to my website and click on download. You will see everything there. And don't forget your medicosis couch potato. Master surgery high yields one pillow at a time. But be careful not to get sudden infant death syndrome. Again, the discount code is fistula. It works for my surgery high yields course, antibiotics course, cardiac pharmacology course, CNS pharmacology course, toxicology course, general pharmacology course, you name it. We get all kinds of courses. Thank you so much for watching this while other students are on the beach. I appreciate you guys. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snandus, where medicine makes perfect sense.